Aloha! Let's make yarn lay. We of course need our yarn. It's a very simple lay, straw lay. So you need a straw. The most difficult part about this lay is to unravel the yarn because sometimes there are tangles in this innocent looking ball of yarn. So before we start, we're going to drop the yarn into a pile. This way you can check for tangles and you have two free hands to deal with it instead of have your lay half made and then you encounter a tangle and then you have to unravel it with one side of this long length attached to your partially made lay, which is very, very frustrating. So <laughs> what I normally do is pull all the yarn out and drop it nicely into a pile. This ball of yarn is behaving very good. Um, I'm going to combine my yellow with red and black. You might want to cut the lengths first and then join them all up because if you make the lay while cutting and joining, it's a little bit uh, inefficient. So you can do that beforehand. Measure how long you want each segment and then join all the pieces together with a dead knot and then drop it into a pile, just like this. Okay, I'll see you back here when you've finished dropping all the yarn into a mountain. My yellow behaved very well and I have a small little mountain here. The end is right here. Let's prepare the ribbon. I'm using gross grain. And as you can see, it's a little bit ribbed. So we're going to put this into the straw. I have difficulty pushing that in. So I'm going to tie a little twine to the end of the ribbon. Okay, and then I'm going to drop the twine into the straw like that. So um, I find it a bit easier to thread this little piece of twine into the straw rather than the ribbon. Okay, and it's come out the other end. And I just pull it through. You might have a better way to do it. But I find this quite easy. And then I just take off the twine. This little bit of ribbon, gross green ribbon at the end, I'm going to tape it down. So just use sticky tape. and I like to make a little tab at the end so it's easy for me to peel it off. So I'll be searching for the end for ages. So I'm going to wrap that bit of ribbon, push it down, and we're going to tape it down. So um, basically we don't want this to move. Make sure that it's taped really well. I like to give it a little bit of a rub so that it's nice and firm. And so we have this end taped down. We're going to be working with this side, with this end, with the long ribbon. And the ribbon should be long enough for your purpose. We're going to make a lay po'o, so it should go around your head with a little bit of um, allowance and on the two ends to tie a nice bow. Okay, we're going to start 
winding the yarn around this ribbon seam. This is really a simple lay. It's a one straw yarn lay. Now you see the end where the length of ribbon is coming out. You're going to tie a knot using the yarn, not the ribbon. You're going to tie the yarn to the ribbon. And I like to be doubly doubly sure, so I'm going to tie a dead knot three times, three knots. That's a dead knot. Um, sometimes this little end kind of disappears into the yarn lay. I've noticed sometimes that happens. So I like to keep this tail taped so that I can just grab the, that end and pull it down the straw. You'll, you'll see what I mean. I'll put it down the, uh, pull it down the ribbon, not the straw. You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, so now we're going to put the knot right where the straw meets the ribbon. So you have this length of yarn tied to the ribbon. Push it all the way up to where the straw begins. And you're just going to wind. So imagine it's like a candy cane. You're going to make a candy cane and you're going to wrap the yarn around the straw. And uh, that's basically it. Yep, wrap it around the straw and then you're going to pull it down. What I like to do is keep that tension so I'm not going to let go of this end. I'm just going to keep that tension, not letting go. I'm going to use my three fingers, use my index and thumb to push it down. So I have this scrunched up portion. I'm going to put my finger on it so that I don't change the tension. And then I'm going to wrap again. So this uh, wrapping, okay, so I'm getting a little tangled on the end. So I'm trying to keep the straw near the camera. Okay, so I'm going to do it um, slightly further away. Okay, so um, the distance is about 1 cm. Again, I'm going to maintain that tension and just pull it down. And I'm going to build up this um, portion of scrunched up yarn. I'm going to tell you what to do after I have a sizable amount. Okay, I have quite a bit of scrunched up lay, scrunched up yarn. I'm going to pull it down the straw. The straw is about, it ends around here, I can feel it. So you're just going to pull it down and leave like an inch on the straw. So don't pull the whole thing off. I can see, I can feel the straws around here. That's where the straw ends. I have an inch left on the straw and this amount is on the ribbon. Don't pull it all off because then it might get very loopy because the tension is not equal. And I have that little tab because sometimes this little tail goes back into the straw, uh, in, into the, um, the yarn lay. And uh, when I pull it down, it goes back up. So I have this little tab and I can just pull the tab a little bit down. So I'm going to build up the lay on the ribbon as I work my way down. So I mentioned if you want to add different colors to your yarn lay, you might want to add the colors together first before you make your lay. And uh, you may use a dead knot or a reef knot. I think the proper term is reef knot. And this is how you do it, left over right. 
and then right over left. And I like to be doubly doubly sure, so I'm going to do it one more time. Left over right, so the red goes over the yellow, and then the red, which is the right, right over left, goes over the yellow from the other side. And uh, once you tighten this knot, it will not come undone. Okay, the more you pull on it, the tighter it becomes. And uh, of course, I'm gonna cut off these little ends. Okay, so my yarn is joined. And you can join up all your segments first before you start on your lay. Now, I wasn't sure how long I wanted the yellow, so I only just joined it. If at any point of time you need to step away from your yarn lay, you should have a little peg because it will unravel so you need to keep the tension constant so just use a little peg and kind of clip it to your straw so that's what I did and then I tied the red to the yellow because I'm not quite sure how long I want the yellow and the red so I'm going to continue winding winding the yarn around and now this time i'm going to wind the red because i've just joined it so when you're done you're going to pull all of the yarn off the straw see the ribbon is being revealed and you're just going to tie a knot around the ribbon So you're just basically going to tie a knot, and I like to be doubly doubly sure, so I'm going to tie three knots around the ribbon. Just to be sure. Okay, and then you're going to pull the entire thing off. See this tab? Is very useful otherwise you'll be searching for the end of the sticky tape so you're going to pull the yarn off the straw through the straw kind of got unraveled here so just gonna snip okay and um, then you're going to align the two ends so you have the two ends of ribbon you're going to align them. This one is slightly longer, so I'm just going to equalize them. And then it's time, oh yes, and I'm going to take off the tape on this side. And then it's time to put on the kukui. So these are the two ends. I'm just going to equalize the lengths of the ribbon. So to get the kukui onto the ribbon, I use a needle. Some of you can do it without a needle. I don't know how. I've always had a problem with that. So I just use a needle with a long eye, an elongated eye, so that the ribbon can go through. Not like a normal sewing needle. So I have to get this, especially at a craft store, and I went to Spotlight to get this. And then you're going to thread the kukui. So you have two ends of the kukui, a pointy end and a kind of like more flat end you want the flat end to touch the yarn so I'm gonna thread it flat end first so it's going out the pointy side and I'm just gonna wiggle it until it comes out and uh, if it doesn't if it's a little tight, then use a pair of pliers and yeah, there we go. So the flat end of the kukui goes straight up against the, the yarn. And of course, we're going to cut this length off and we're going to do the same with the other side. Now that we've done that on the other side, 
we have the two ends nicely bookended with the kukui. You're gonna tie a bow. The kukui has to kiss, they have to meet. So let the two ends of the kukui come together in an aloha kiss. And you're going to tie a bow. And this is one thing bad about gross green ribbon, it tends to fray. So what I do with the ends is just give it a little bit of a burn just to melt melt it a little bit so that it doesn't fray. So yep, not gonna fray. Alright, and then we have our lace.